close your eyes, focus on your breath, and try to stay here. It's the staying that makes all the difference. You can add the breath just to be one more thing that you think about in the course of the day, and that doesn't make much of a difference. But if you stay with the breath and make it your foundation, make it the place where you go by default, then it really does make a change. The mind gets a greater sense of having a center, having a place where it belongs. And when you stay here, then when the mind does move, you notice it. Otherwise, it just kind of floats around like someone floating around in a river. You don't know which way the currents are going. The currents can wash you here, wash you there, and there's no sense of anything being certain or sure. But if you have something to hold on to, okay, then the water flows over you and you know okay, the water's flowing. And it's going in that direction, and you can see it. Same way with the mind. We want to see the currents of the mind as they go flowing out to sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. You've got to have a place to stand, like a post at the edge of the ocean. When the waves rise, the post stays right where it is. The waves go down, the post stays right where it is. And that way it knows things are rising, things are falling. Things are moving around. And then you begin to see, okay, what kind of movements are dangerous and which ones are not. Because we do have to have a sense of danger. This is what, what's connected with the Buddhist term heedfulness. Sometimes it's translated as diligence, which is not really what the Buddha was getting at. He's getting at there is a sense of danger. Some of these currents can go, take you down, as he says, over waterfalls into rapids. You can run, get swept into whirlpools. So you've got to be careful to notice, okay, which currents are safe and which ones are not. The currents actually that get you across the river to the other side, those are the safe ones. And the currents that pull you down, those are the ones you've got to watch out for. So the way you can tell the difference is by having this solid place to stay. Stay with the breath and have a sense of ease and well-being. That makes it easier to stay here. That also gives a lot less edge to the mind's desire to find some pleasure. You've already got a sense of well-being right here. So you don't have to go out and running after worthless pleasures, things that are going to cause trouble down the line. To try to appreciate the value of having the breath as a place to stay and, and making it a place where you can really settle in and have a sense of well-being and ease. Because it really changes the balance of power in the mind. <laughs>